Hey folks, Aslan the Wizard, and I've been walking around a little bit around Malmo, Sweden, and the good times are rolling. The good times are really rolling, right? So we had some of this on my last trip here in September from Shawarma time and another place called Shawarma Giganten or Giganten. But today we ordered a beef shawarma pizza with a little bit of garlic sauce and a little bit of mayo sauce on there. And then to sample their chicken, we got a chicken shawarma sandwich. So check that, looks good. And he did grill it a little bit. A little bummed out that it's not, uh, you know, like in that homemade bread, but hey, it's all about the flavors, right? If they work, they work. It is pita bread. The guy did have actual garlic sauce, which is kind of rare in some of these restaurants because they only have a mayonnaise version of it. So here goes nothing. Goes that first bite. The chicken pieces look kind of big. I don't know. Mm, expectations, expectations. Okay, so I think I learned to go with my gut feelings from now on. It does not have that wow factor that I was hoping for. Chicken is on the chunky side. Doesn't feel like a shawarma. Feels like I'm eating grilled chicken breast cut up into pieces oh well maybe the pizza can redeem it let's see now all the pizza places that have kebab and shawarma so arab owned pizza places they all make their dough from scratch so that's a win-win so this we had it made with beef shawarma put on top i gotta take this bite before it falls but I'm gonna show you this. Looks really good, and this actually tastes phenomenal. So, here we go. Hmm. Beef is on the saltier side. I guess now I know why this place isn't packed like the other places I've been going to. So, what is the name of this place? Tak Tak. And it's spelled T-A-K, T-A-K. So in Polish, it would be, yes, just like that. Yes, just like that. What is that? Oh yeah, you can see that sign in the back. So, Tak Tak. Tak in Russian or Polish is yes, just like that. Uh, and Tak Hogi. Korean would be chicken, right? Anyways, that's uh, you know a little little bit of a downer, but if you're in a bind and all the other places are closed and this is only it, this is still better than what you would find pizza-wise in most uh, chain places. But yeah, maybe walk around a little bit and I'll let you know what other places are a little bit more impressive. So with this one, I'd probably give it a based on the chart here. In uh, Malmo, I'd give this one a four, maybe a four and a half out of 10, not out of five. Don't get excited. All right, well, we still gotta finish this food. So remember, I keep it honest. I don't make up for anybody's shortcomings. And these are opinions. You may like this more than I did. Keep following, don't forget to subscribe and follow. And I'll let you know when the wizard eats again. Peace.